Hello and welcome to Metsmerizing.com. The topics that we'll study today are So, without further ado, let's begin. Let us take another example. So, the function is ex into ln ex. Now, the first thing, it's domain. So, for logarithmic function, ex should be greater than 0, x should be greater than 0. So, domain of this function will be x belongs to 0 to infinite. So, this graph, it will be drawn from 0 to infinite. Now, I cannot put minus x in that. So, there is no symmetry in this given curve. In the interval 0 to infinite, both the function ex and ln ex, they are continuous and differentiable. So, this function is continuous and differentiable in x belongs to 0 to infinite. Now, the fourth step is to find the points where it will intersect x-axis or y-axis. I cannot put x as 0 because it is not included in the domain. So, if I put y as 0, I will get ex ln ex. So, that means I will get ex equals 1, x equals 1 upon e. So, that means it will intersect x-axis at 1 upon e comma 0 and it will never intersect y-axis. Now, fifth step is, I will differentiate the function. I will find dy by dx. I will put it equals to 0. I will find critical points. I will mark the point on a number line. Now, when x is greater than 1 upon e square, 1 plus ln ex will be positive and before that, it will be negative. So, that means from 0 to 1 upon e square, it will be a decreasing function and then after 1 upon e square, it will be an increasing function. Now, at 1 upon e square, the sign changes from minus to plus. So, that means 1 upon e square is actually a point of local minima. So, I'll also find the value at 1 upon e square. So, if I put x as 1 upon e square, I'll get minus 1 by e. Now, again, I'll skip step 7. So, I'll straight away go to my limits. Now here, because the domain is from 0 to infinite, I'll need to find this limit. Limit x tends to 0 positive ex into ln ex. So the first thing that we'll do in any limit is to find its form. Its form is 0 and ln 0 is minus infinite. So it is 0 into infinite, which is an indeterminate form. So I can write it as limit x tends to 0 positive. I can write it as e ln ex upon 1 upon x, which is infinity upon infinity form. Now I can use DL hospital rule. So I'll differentiate numerator and denominator separating. So limit x tends to 0 positive. So it is e 1 upon ex and then into e and this is minus 1 upon x square. So if I'll solve it, I'll get this limit as 0. So, when x tends to 0, the limiting value of this function is 0. I'll also find limit at x equals infinite. So, which is ex into ln ex. Now, when x tends to infinite, it is infinite and log infinite is also infinite. So, infinite into infinite is infinite, which is not an indeterminate form. That means the limiting value of this function when x tends to infinite is infinite itself. Now, I'll start drawing the graph. So, I've drawn the axis. Now, first thing, domain is from 0 to infinite. So, this graph will be drawn from 0 to infinite. There is no symmetry in the graph. So, it will always be connected and it's a smooth graph. It will intersect x-axis at 1 upon e. So, I'll mark this point. Now, I'll mark this critical point which is 1 upon e square. So, 1 upon e square, it will be before 1 upon e. So, I'll mark this point as 1 upon e square. Now, between 0 and 1 upon e square, it will be a decreasing function. And after 1 upon e square, it will be an increasing function. Now, it has a local minima at 1 upon e square. And local minimum value will be minus 1 upon e. Now, limiting value at 0 is 0. 
I'll put an open circle at zero and then I'll start drawing the graph. So between zero and one upon E square will decrease and it will have a minima at one upon E square. It will pass through one upon E and then you go up to infinite. So that is the graph of EX ln EX. Now the next question is y equals e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. First domain, domain is x belongs to r because denominator cannot be negative and there is no other restriction. Secondly, so if I replace y with minus y and x with minus x, take minus common from the right hand side, I'll end up getting the same function. So that means this graph will have origin symmetry. So it will be symmetric in opposite quadrants. It is continuous and differentiable in x belongs to r. Now if I put x as 0, I will get y equals 0. And if I put y equals 0, again I will get x equals to 0. So that means the only point where it will intersect the axis is origin. Now I will differentiate the function. So if I differentiate, I will get 4 upon e to the power x plus e to the power minus x whole square which is always greater than 0. So that means this function is increasing in x belongs to r and there are no critical points. So that means this function, it doesn't have a local maxima or local minima. So if I put this second derivative equals to 0, I'll get x equals 0. So x equals to 0 is point of inflection. Now I'll find the limiting points. So limit x tends to minus infinite. So first I'll identify the form and the form is infinity upon infinity, basically minus infinity upon infinity. Now if I'll divide it with e to the power minus x, I'll get limit x tends to minus infinite e to the power 2x minus 1 upon e to the power 2x plus 1. So answer to this limit will be minus 1. In the same way, if I'll find limits at plus infinite, form is infinity upon infinity. If I'll solve it, I'll get this limit as plus 1. So now I'll start drawing the graph. So I'll draw the axis. Domain is x belongs to R. It will have an origin symmetry. It will be connected and smooth. It will intersect x-axis and y-axis at origin. It will always be an increasing function. Then at 0, there is a point of inflection. Now at minus infinite, this value is minus 1. So that means I will draw a horizontal asymptote at minus 1. And at plus infinite, the value is 1. So I will also draw a horizontal asymptote at y equals to plus 1. Now I will start drawing this graph. So it will start from minus 1. Then it will increase. It will pass through 0. It will change its concretivity at 0. Then again it will increase and at plus infinite it will be again 1. So that is the graph of e to the power x minus e to the power minus x upon e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. Now the fourth question is draw the graph of y equals x square into e to the power minus mod x. Now for this function first I'll find domain. So there is no restriction in the function. So domain obviously is x belongs to r. If I replace x with minus x, I'll get, which means this graph has a y-axis symmetry. Now the third thing is, we need to discuss its continuity and differentiability. Now it is continuous and differentiable in x belongs to r. Actually, I need to check the differentiability at zero because we do have mod of x. But then when you'll find left-hand derivative and right-hand derivative, you'll find that it is differentiable at x equal to 0. Now the fourth step is to find points of intersection. So if I will put x as 0, I will get y equals 0 and there is no other point of intersection. So the only point where it will intersect x is 0, 0. Now because this graph has a y-axis symmetry, so what I will do is, I will draw the graph when x is greater than or equal to 0 and then I will replicate the same graph on the left hand side. I like this function as y equals x square e to the power minus x when x is greater than or equal to 0. I'll find dy by dx. 
So if I differentiate the function, I'll get dy by dx is e to the power minus x, 2 minus x and plus x. So the critical points are 0 and 2. So 0 and then it's 2. Rightmost, it is minus. So this is minus and this is plus. So between 0 and 2, this function, it will increase. And from 2 to infinite, it will decrease. Now at 0, it will have local minima. And at 2, this function will have local maxima. I'll also find this value. So now if I put x as 0, I'll get y as 0. And if I'll put x as 2, I'll get y as 4 into e to the power minus 2. Now I'll find the limits also. Now because I'm taking the reflection of right on left, I'll just need to find one limit, which is limit x tends to infinite. So identify the form infinite e to the power minus infinite is 0, which is an indeterminate form. So I'll write it as x square upon e to the power x, which is infinity upon infinity form. So if I differentiate it twice, I'll get this limit as 0. So now I'll draw my graph. So it'll intersect x-axis and y-axis at origin. Local minima at 0, minimum value 0. Then at 2, maximum value 4 upon e square. And then at infinite, it will be 0. So I'll draw this graph. And now because it is symmetric about y-axis, I'll take the reflection of right on left. So that is the graph of y equals x square into e to the power minus mod x. I can write fx as x plus under root of minus x when x is less than 0 and x plus under root of x when x is greater than or equal to 0. So if I differentiate this function, I'll get. Now this function is not differentiable at x equal to 0. So x equal to 0 is one of my critical point. And also, if I'll put f dash x equals to 0, I'll get x equals minus 1 by 4. So there are two critical points, x equal to 0 and x equals minus 1 by 4. So I'll put them on a number line. So rightmost, it is plus, then minus, and then plus. So it will be increasing when x is less than minus 1 by 4, decreasing between minus 4 and 0, and then again increasing when x is greater than 0. At minus 1 by 4, it will be a point of local maxima, and 0 is a point of local minima. The value at minus 1 by 4 is 1 by 4, and the value at 0 is 0. I'll also find limits. Limit x tends to minus infinite fx will be minus infinite. Limit x tends to infinite fx is plus infinite. So I'll mark these two points 0 and minus 1 by 4. So at 0 it is 0 and at minus 1 by 4 it is plus 1 by 4 and it's a local maxima. If I'll put fx is 0, I'll get x equals minus 1. So it'll pass through minus 1. So its graph will be starting from minus infinite, it will take local maximum at minus 1 by 4, at 0 it is not differentiable. So that is the graph of x plus under root of mod x.